every seagoing vessel, whether it is a cargo or a cruise ship carrying passengers on board, has to carry lifeboats to ensure the safe evacuation of crew or passenger, in case of an emergency situation when the ship needs to be abandoned. Hoisting of the lifeboat is a necessary procedure, and releasing the lifeboat from the davit and falls, is the last but the most critical process, to detach the lifeboat from the ship during abandoned ship. There are different types of lifeboats used on board, on the basis of the type of ship, and other special requirements. The most common type of lifeboats used on ships are Open lifeboat Enclosed lifeboat and free fall lifeboat. Not all the lifeboats have the same type of releasing mechanisms, for the launching of a lifeboat depends on several other factors. An enclosed lifeboat operated with Tavit is provided with onload and offload release mechanism. The onload release mechanism is designed to allow the release of the Davit launched lifeboat from fall wires when the ship is still making way through the water or in a rough sea. Onload and offload release mechanism can be operated from inside the boat, which makes the operation much safer for the crew. The release mechanism is provided for and aft of the lifeboat, carrying the fall wires from the davit. The lifeboat release assembly consists of five main systems. An operating lever. A clutch assembly with a safety system. Morse cables connected to release hooks. Release hook forward and aft. The offload release hydrostatic piston. If there is no rush to release the lifeboat, and the sea state is favorable, offload release is usually chosen. As the ship becomes waterborne, the water pressure will move the hydrostatic piston up. The piston is connected to the releasing handle via a link. The piston will continue to move up, pushing the lever. As a result, it will operate the hook arrangement releasing the fall wire. If the weather is rough or hydrostatic piston unit fails to operate, the onload release method is chosen. First, the hydrostatic piston link is detached from the releasing handle by removing the locking pin. Once the handle is free, the operator can now pull the lever, which is connected to both the hooks, forward and aft via a clutch assembly. The hook assembly consists of the spring-loaded fall hook, which carries the fall wire. An amplifying arm, which controls the movement of the fall hook, by locking it in the position against the spring. A cam-operated releasing lever or pin, which moves the amplifying arm, and is connected to the Morse cables. When the lever is pulled, the Morse cables, whose ends are connected to the cam release pin, rotate the cam. This movement will unlock the amplifying arm and pushes it down. As the amplifying arm moves down, the hook which was locked and held in position becomes free and moves outward due to the spring force, releasing the fall wire it is carrying. Once the lifeboat is free from the hook, the crew must check that the fall is clear from obstructing the lifeboat any further. The painter wire fore and aft can be released from inside the lifeboat to make it completely free from the ship. Always ensure not to release the boat, which may lead to drop of the davit launched lifeboat from the falls to the water, even from as little as one meter above the water, as there can be severe personal injuries and possible structural damage.